I just got back from Sprouts and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I spent about $110. This week for dinner, I am making chicken tacos, steak hibachi, and shrimp and sausage gumbo. So a lot of this stuff is for that and then some of stuff I already have. But the first thing that I got were these thin wheat crackers. I like to use these with my tuna salad to dip them. And then the next thing I got were these made good soft baked chocolate chip cookies for my son. He's obsessed with cookies right now. And these ones actually have pretty good ingredients. So I like to get these for him. And then something else that he's obsessed with right now is seaweed, which is so random. I swear he's like the pickiest eater, but the things that he likes are really random, but he loves seaweed, so I got that. And then this is something new that we've never tried before. I got it for him because I love this brand and they have clean ingredients as well. It's the chocolate brownie sweet fins from Simple Mills, so he'll probably like those as well since he loves chocolate and stuff like that. For the chicken tacos, I got this salsa. I love this brand, it's so good. Ever since I got it from Costco, I've been so obsessed with it and at Costco you get a, like three times this size for the same price so I like to get it there but I didn't have it. I just got this because I put the chicken in the crock pot with some salsa and taco seasoning and green chilies and it comes out so good. And then I also got some sesame seeds because I was out. And then I got these two pouches for my son. This one is apples, blueberries, and oats. And this one's organic bananas, blueberries, yogurt, oats, and chia. I like to give this to him if he hasn't been eating a lot. Yeah. If he hasn't been eating a lot, I'll give him a pouch just so he can get in some extra calories. So the next thing I got was this Lesser Evil Fiery Popcorn. This is my favorite popcorn, and this has really clean ingredients as well. It's made with coconut oil, and then the seasonings are all clean, so I love this brand, and I love the Fiery Hot ones. I also get a lot of his snacks from this brand. He loves the, I don't know, if, I think they're like these puffs. I think they're puffs, but they have like a ranch, a pizza, and a cheddar, and he loves those. So I got this one for me. And then, like I said, he is a picky eater, so it's so hard to get him to have protein, especially when it comes to meat. So I got him this, these dino nuggets. We've never, I've never given these to him before because they are pretty processed, but I'm like, we're gonna just try and see if he'll eat it just to get some meat in him. Then the next two things I got were drinks. This is a antioxidant brew, organic green tea. I think, yeah, it's blueberry pomegranate. I like to get fun drinks because I am pregnant, so I can't have like my glass of wine or a margarita or anything. So I like to try to get some drinks so I feel like I'm having a fun beverage at the end of the night. And then this one, I saw that it was crafted by Morgan Wallen, so I'm so excited to try it. It's a sweet tea, so we'll see if this is good. I'm excited to try it. I saw it on the Instacart thing by Morgan Wallen and I was like, I need to try this. And then the next thing I got was this milked oats. I love getting this brand because there's only three ingredients, which is filtered water, whole grain oats, and salt. So I like to use this in my matcha. I used to put it in my coffee, but I haven't had coffee in three months. So I like to use that in my matcha. And then I got this Japanese barbecue sauce. I love this brand as well because they all taste so good. But I'm going to put some of this on the steak for dinner tonight. My dog for the steak hibachi. And then I just got this alkaline water and it has electrolytes in it. Then for protein, I got two of these grass-fed sirloin fillets. This is what I'm gonna use for the steak hibachi tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and marinate that soon. I also got this garlic and herb chicken breast. I've been so obsessed with sandwiches lately. So I wanted to give that one a try. Usually I get turkey, but I wanted to try the garlic and herb chicken. Last two things that I got were these Fruit Riot. I've only had the pineapple one, and then I finally found the mango one and the grapes at Sprouts. And I do Instacart pickup usually, because if I go into Sprouts, I'm gonna like black out and buy way too much stuff. But the Instacart lady told me that she loves the mango, that it's her favorite flavor, and they were buy one and get one 50% off. So I was like, I might as well try both of them. But I'm so excited to try these. This is the mango and this is the grapes. I know that they have a cotton candy grapes. I think this is just the regular one, but I'm so excited to try them. I love these. Everything that I got, like I said, I spent about $110, which when you look at it, it's really not that much, but groceries are so expensive now. And the steaks alone were $20, so it's not that bad. But if you guys have tried the Fruit Riot, let me know what flavor is your favorite and if you think they're sour or not.